Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Young Talents Making Way here on FinTech Hawaii. We're live. This is our first show, and I'm Andrea Gabrielli. I'm your host for this show. I am a friend with FinTech Hawaii and also assistant uh, uh, researcher at the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology at UH Manoa. And today, we're going to talk about something particularly exciting. We're going to talk about cybersecurity and the Sa uh, Cyber Patriot program at Sacred Hearts Academy. And please welcome um, Ayana Arnobit to our show. Hello, Hi. Ayana. Hi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here, too. Thank you. So. Um, so, uh, you are a student at uh, Sacred Hearts Academy, huh? Yeah, I am. I'm a junior at Sacred Hearts Academy. Okay. And yeah. so, um, so uh, today we're going to talk about cybersecurity. So, um, what kind of programs do they have over there for this uh, particular topic? At Sacred Hearts Academy, we have the Cyber Patriot program where students are given real world scenarios and situations that simulate attackers hacking into a computer, or we're just in charge of protecting a computer system. Wow, that yeah. sounds pretty advanced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it, you, you want to tell us more about this program and, you know, uh, why you joined it and, and, and uh, what, 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 what are you passionate about it and... and, and um... uh, I really enjoy the Cyber Patriot program because it allows me to learn new uh, new concepts that I can apply in my everyday life because everyone uses a computer or some sort of tech device that we have to keep secure and protect uh, attackers from getting our personal information. I was initially drawn to it just because it seemed so interesting and it didn't seem like the a stereotypical club. It, it seemed very new I, I and original. Think so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and. It's just the program in Sacred Hearts. We have a very strong, men we have a lot of mentors coming in to help and support the new members. So it provides opportunities for people who aren't too familiar to with computers to people who are really advanced in computers. Just because there's so much support with the program and the mentors we have. Oh, this is very good. So people can really, you know, understand from all different levels yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, so. Um, I understand that basically uh, cybersecurity is uh, um, getting basically trying to get the internet uh, secure for all the people. Uh, I guess it's like a house. Yeah, the internet yeah. can be compared to a house uh, which uh, everybody has the keys uh, mm -hmm. to. So we wanna we wanna enter the house because there's sort of mm -hmm. very good information in there, but uh, we need to um, get some precautions. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell us more about um, uh, what cybersecurity is, uh, and so um, how we can, you know, get um, safe with the with this uh, so particular thing, which is the internet? Uh, cybersecurity is just basically protecting us and our personal information that we hold mm. on our computer, like passwords or personal data, like our birthday, yeah, and other information. And hackers, they can attack it through. Some popular things such as phishing, which is where hack, uh, not hackers, but cyber criminals, they send an email pretending to be a large company like Amazon, and they will send you a link like, oh, click on this link, and then you can put in your email and password to log into your Amazon account, but it's not actually the real Amazon website, so that they can get their your information that way. So this is how they get yeah the information and everything. Yeah. So how do you... Um, Basically, you said they pretend to be some large company or, or something. But so how do you distinguish the, the actual uh, legitimate large company from these hackers? Uh, typically, in emails such as those, e Amazon, for example, they would never send, oh, click on this link to log into your account. And if you were to log into your account, you would have to do it manually through logging in through the URL address at the top of the browser to mm. avoid getting attacked. And usually those emails have spelling errors or grammar errors to look out for. Oh, okay. See, this is good. This is good to listen. <laughs> <laughs> this is good to know for our viewers as well. Yeah. 
So it sounds like this is a really uh, good program at, at, uh, at Sacred Hearts Academy uh, to get involved in and, and to learn more about security and the internet. What other um, activities and classes do you do, you do there? Um, in Sacred Hearts, we have the digital engineering class. Oh, wow. Which is, <laughs> it, it ties in with the Cyber Patriot class, but they give overview to during the school day for students who aren't able to attend after school because our meetings are once a week for two hours after school, which is quite a bit of amount of time. And then additionally, there's some other competitions held throughout the year for beginners oh, okay. or experts. There's actually one coming up right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So are, are you part of the competition? Are you part of the team? Yes, I, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so how long have you been uh, involved basically with, with cyber security and the Cyber Patriot program? I've been involved with Cyber Patriot for, this is my third year. So mm. I'm the team captain for my own individual Cyber Patriot team during our competition. And during those competitions, I'm in charge of overseeing the team, making sure that we're all on task helping if there's any small issues within each of the com my teammates' competition requirements. And I'm in charge of securing a Linux operating system, which is similar okay, to a so Mac. So you operate with Linux? Yeah. Okay, okay. And so um, the, uh, are these, um, just to you know, understand more, these competitions are uh, you know, in the school, so you have different groups within Sacred Hearts Academy, or it's open to various schools and, and different schools, that, so you have more participants from the state or around the island? Um, there, it's open to everyone in the nation, I believe. Oh, okay. And I think, <laughs> I think there's some in other countries too. I believe that Canada and perhaps the Middle East, I'm not too sure on that one, have the same Cyber Patriot program. And within our Cyber Patriot program, we have different divisions we compete in. So we compete against people in our GROTC, military-affiliated clubs, and then people like me who aren't in those clubs and just do it for leisure or uh, as a hobby. And then within those, we compete on the state round. And then once past the state competition, it, we go into the nationals round where we compete with everyone in the state. I mean, in the nation, my bad. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is very exciting. And um, what's what's basically what do you do to win? Because that's the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, well, it's a pretty intense competition. We spend several months preparing just prior. to prepare and get ready for it. Yeah, because we have so many tasks tasks to do during the competition. For example, we get these files, which are like oh. This user has an MP3 file on their computer they're not supposed to have. Please show us where it's found on the computer and copy and paste the location into this text file. And we would get points for that. And we would get all points for other things such as enabling a firewall or turning, uh, changing administrator policies to prevent hackers from, well, cyber criminals from doing wrong things on the computer. So what's a, um, for our, our viewers and everything, can you tell us what's a, what is a firewall and how okay. we can really... <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Um, firewalls are basically these sort of programs on your computer that prevent outside contact coming in. So you can have different settings on the firewall. You can have outgoing connections, which you want, so that you can connect to the internet, but you want to have incoming connections blocked to prevent any sort of outside contact from reaching your computer and implanting something in it. And so basically, um, do you also make these firewalls programs yourselves or you, are, uh, or you use something else or? Uh, we just use the ones free online, but sometimes we have to configure the ones pre-built in on the computer for like, oh, we need to enable this sort of program to be used, we have to go to the firewall settings and like, oh, make sure that this program so allowed. change the settings and, yeah. and so manage with the, with, with the program and everything. Mm. And so, um, um, what, what's something that, um, so uh, we need to picture, you know, these competitions yeah. and everything. So you basically, uh, how does it actually work? You go to a, a place or it's done on the internet with all the people, uh, because I assume since there are, you know, people from the, all over the nations, yeah. I would assume, uh, yeah, you, you go basically in, uh, on the internet. But how, how does it actually work? 
Um, Tell us more. We, we are curious. <laughs> um, well, the competition, we have three days to compete. We don't have to compete for all three days. Oh, okay. But we're given a six-hour time slot to work in. We can't work beyond that six hours or we can't so work. We have a like, time limit for yeah. that. Okay. And we can't work like two hours on Friday, two hours on Saturday, two hours on Sunday. It has to be six hours of one sitting to dedicate to securing a computer. And during those six hours where we aren't allowed to contact people outside of the oh. outside of the competition, like we can't call our family and friends and ask them, oh, hey, do you know how to do this? Because that's <laughs> cheating. I don't know if they would be yeah. able to. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay, this is, so it's a team, basically. Yeah. It's a team effort. Yeah. Okay. I think in the picture that just showed up with me and the group surrounding me on Let's our Let's show some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this picture with me, I'm on the right. Yeah. And the people surrounding me on our computers, that's our team, basically on our computers trying to secure it with the different uh, types of um, uh, operating systems. So on the left, we have the Linux, and on the right, we have the Windows. Oh, so you operate with different operating systems as well? Yeah. Okay, okay. So um, you, you have more, you, you, did you bring more pictures? Uh, you... Yeah, this oh, is... Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. This is another picture. Uh, this is a picture of me educating the elementary students in our school. Um, we don't... We reach out to the children, well, the grades younger than us, to help them start on the fundamentals and understand what it, what you should secure on a computer when you're when you first start out. Because kids these days are starting to use computers younger and a younger, younger age. Yeah, yeah. No, this is very good to yeah. know. I mean, it's it's very good that you have this program at Sacred yeah. Hearts Academy, and uh, so it it sounds like a very good program. I mean, yeah. So um, um, so. Basically, uh, this program you uh, teach uh, the younger, the elementary uh, students, the elementary school students, uh, how to do this. Um, um, uh, you know, uh, how to secure a computer. You take parts in in, in competitions. Uh, you you lead this this uh, this groups at at, uh, at Sacred Hearts Academy. Um, what are some 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 stories? What what are some you know? Funny things that happen during these, uh, the, you know, as you teach uh, the younger uh, students or as you participate in these competitions. What what really happens? <laughs> <laughs> um, when we were teaching the young uh, elementary students at one time, we were playing a game, oh. and we were to teach them about computer viruses and how to attack them, or to to familiarize themselves with. Oh, computer viruses are bad. We shouldn't have them on our computer. So it's kind of like a point and shoot game where we had a spaceship that shot bullets out to the viruses. This doesn't oh, okay. actually happen on the computer, but it's a fun way for them to learn yeah. how to, that viruses are bad. So we had five, we had only five laptops in a class of 20 kids. So five kids would be huddled around a laptop and one of them would be controlling the left arrow, one would be controlling the right, that. and they'd all work together. And it was really cute to watch. <laughs> So how often do you do these? And, and uh, because I, I I would assume you know at Sacred Hearts Academy you are also busy yeah. studying you know other disciplines and everything. How often do you do the, these uh, um, competitions and teaching to the younger students? Uh, for the competitions, we just finished our last competition last week. We are awaiting our results. They haven't come in yet, and the competition season lasts for about the first semester of school. And the second semester, we dedicate that time to reaching out to different age groups, teaching them about cybersecurity, and also preparing for the next season. And during the summer, too, we have, there was a statewide uh, cyber camp within different schools. We hosted one as well, wow. where we would teach middle school to high school age students on how to secure a computer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, this is really impressive, you know, that, uh, good, perfect. You, you, um, so, um, what are you? What are your? Um, uh, you know, we said that you are involved with this Cyber Patriot program, that you know you you teach to younger students. Uh, what what else basically you are doing at uh, at, at Sacred Hearts Academy? What I... are the what are the the, the um, what are you studying? What are you? Um... Currently, I'm taking four AP classes right now. And on a, in addition to that, I'm taking five other clubs aside from Cyber Patriot. 
So it's a very full load I have to handle. But these are all regarding uh, uh, informatics and, and cybersecurity, or it's more uh, other? It, uh, I'd say it's more STEM in general, because Cyber Patriot, I think, is our only really cybersecurity focused club at school. But all the other STEM clubs that we have really complement the different aspects of Cyber Patriot. Like Girls Who Code, we learn about the different programming languages that we can use to apply in the Cyber Patriot program. In the math team, we just, we, it's solving math problems, but the logical process of solving problems can be applied to the finding what's wrong with your computer. And we have the robotics program, which is not too, sim I'd say the least similar to Cyber Patriot, but it just provides a really good experience of teamwork and reaching out to people aside from the competition sphere. And as we all know, this is very, very important, yeah. reaching out and, and really uh, show the importance of what we're doing. Um, so let me ask you, um, let, let me ask you um, one more question about this uh, cybersecurity. Uh, you know, w when we basically, um, viruses are programs that are sent to computers to do certain things and so, um, how, uh, besides, I guess, having a, a good antiviruses and everything, how do we really protect our computers? Because this is really something mm. that our viewers as well yeah. are curious to see, to, to, you know, to get to know more about this topic. I think the basics are, well, the most important thing is to know to protect your personal information and what personal information is, because that can be taken from you a number of ways, like having a conversation with somebody can actually take your personal information away and you could be hacked into your computer, you could get a virus from it. And that, that method is also yeah. called uh, social engineering. So you just have to be very cautious on what you do and what you say yeah. and what information you give out. Okay, sounds like we have a real expert today <laughs> of cybersecurity from Sacred Hearts Academy. And we're gonna take a short break, but we'll, we'll be right back after the break. I said I could play, so I ain't chance to play at all. You know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah, that's how we do it. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea comes on every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join us. I like to bring in guests that talk about all types of things that come across the sea to Hawaii. Not just law, love, people, ideas, history. Please join us for Law Across the Sea. Aloha. Aloha, I'm Richard Concepcion, the host of Hispanic Hawaii. You can watch my show every other Tuesday at 2 p.m. We will bring you entertainment, educational, and also we tell you what is happening right here within our community. Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. And we're back, we're live, we're Young Talents Making Way. I'm your host, I'm Andrea Gabrielli, and our guest today is uh, Ayana Arnobet, and we're talking about the exciting and, and actually very important topic of cybersecurity. How, what, Ayana, uh, so tell us more, what can we do to protect our computers and, and, and protect our information, you know, that we put on the internet and, and, and in computers? Um, why uh, basic things can be like installing a firewall on a computer because I know some people they don't know what a firewall is or how to install one and it's very important to have one on your computer to prevent any sort of bad thing coming onto your computer. Another thing would be avoiding strange emails from people or getting a USB from somebody you don't know because viruses can be transmitted that way and your data can be stolen or even worse held for ransom and you have to pay money in order to get your data and information back. And, and, uh, and there's a funny story because actually that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me once. Uh, so when, when I was in England, uh, I think uh, I, uh, luckily it was the end of my program. So I basically clicked on one of these emails, I think, and everything was, oh. you know, stuck. So this is, I can tell you, this is very important. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> listen to Ayana and learn about this. Uh, learn with us. Learn with me about the cybersecurity. Yeah. So, um, so basically, uh, um, now we have uh, uh, you know computers. Uh, we we use them. Uh, laptops and everything. We do basically everything with computers. It's our work is in there. Our information. Our uh, contacts as well. Passwords. Uh, uh, what about our phones? Because phones, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I see that people, the daily use of phones is getting, you know, it's going exponential. It's, it's, it's growing day by day. Yeah. And people save lots of information in there as well. What can you tell us uh, more about? Uh, do you do also phones for uh, protecting phones as well? Or? We, we have some basic information on how to secure a phone or how to keep a phone safe. It's the same concepts that apply to keeping a computer safe, like make sure you have a very strong password protecting your phone. I personally wouldn't advise using the thumb print as you know how most phones have you can put your thumb on your phone and it'll unlock it. Oh yeah, I see so many people do that. <laughs> yeah. I, I personally wouldn't advise it because it actually takes 13 screenshots of your phone, uh, of your thumbprint. So if you get at least one out of those 13, you can get into the phone easier. Unlike if you have a one strong password, it'll take so much longer to get into your phone. Hey, this is, um, what about the, the visual recognition? Because mm. some phones now have, does that, uh, uh, that's what you say, uh, what you just said, apply even to basically the, 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 the facial recognition programs? Or I think so, because I remember I read an article a while back where some people were able to hack into Samsung 8's facial recognition by having their camera at a certain setting and putting oh. contact lenses on the eyes oh, of wow. the picture. Yeah. No, this is something really that we need to um, keep in mind. Um, but... Um, so basically, uh, with phones, I guess, uh, um, you, you know, the, the, um, even with the, the, the uh, Samsung and everything, Apple as well, what are some, some basically um, good passwords that we can use, for example, alphanumerical or uh, with, you know, capital or strange things? Mm -hmm. And also, because we also need to yeah. remember the password. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, a good pass would be at least eight characters long. With eight a, characters, yeah. With a mix of capital, lowercase numbers, and those strange characters mixed in it. And to differentiate between the different passwords you have for different websites, you can put, like, G-O-O-G -O -G for your Google password and maybe, like, Y-A-H for your Yahoo password. Yeah. And it's important, I guess, not to have the same password for all of the... Yeah. the, the okay. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change my password. After, <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and um, so you mentioned before something about uh, uh, competitions and everything. Are you going to be involved with any of these soon? Yes, there's actually one coming up now called the Girls Go Cyber Start. Mm. If you're a high school student, in, obviously here in Hawaii, you can sign up for the Girls Go Cyber Start competition at girlsgocyberstart.com by February 16th, and you can learn how to secure a computer and the different ways to, uh, different aspects of cybersecurity. And there's no knowledge required at all prior to. You can join without any knowledge at all, and it'll guide you through how to be successful in the competition. And as we mentioned, this is very, very important. <laughs> so go sign up for this <laughs> competition. <laughs> um, so. Um, so you are really involved with this uh, cybersecurity competitions, t teaching um, t teaching younger people, and um, um, what do you do on your free time, on your spare time, <laughs> if you have any? <laughs> I, I like to joke that I don't have any free time, but I, with all my clubs, I genuinely do enjoy all the outreach work I do and all the competing I do. Uh, for example, in robotics, I had a outreach program with a public school in the Philippines where I oh. helped coordinate a relaunching of the robotics program for their high school. And I, me and my robotics team, we donated all our old robotics kits that were perfectly usable, but were just, uh, we, didn't, we weren't able to use them, so we donated them to the Philippines so that they can reintegrate them in their curriculum and inspire a love for STEM there. Oh, wow, this is such a beautiful story. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, 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 very nice, very nice. Um, so it, it, it sounds like 
uh, Sacred Hearts Academy is really, you know, pushing for the importance of this field and cybersecurity and computers. How many students, uh, I think we, we haven't mentioned this, oh, yeah. how many students are actually involved with Sacred Hearts Academy and who join um, these programs with, uh, regarding cybersecurity and computers? I'd say we actually have a good number of students who are in, who are interested in STEM, but again, it's, I, I don't think it's enough with the oh. growing need and demand for technology and how everyone needs, or everyone uses technology. The amount that's there isn't enough. Like in Cyber Patriot, we have about 20 to 30 kids practicing cybersecurity, but at the same time, there's 400 students in high school who have a computer. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. more than actually one electronic device and maybe not all of them know how to properly secure their information. Who doesn't have computers today? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for our viewers, uh, let's basically summarize what we said. So we talked about cybersecurity, how to secure computers, we talked about uh, competitions and even phones. Um, uh, just as a, a very quick sentence, um, um, what's the, the importance of this cybersecurity program and particularly uh, related to uh, Sacred Hearts Academy and your experience there? Um, cybersecurity is just an important piece of knowledge that everyone has to know. And through Sacred Hearts and the Cyber Patriot program, I've been able to strengthen that knowledge and help others know more about how to secure their computers and secure the different technological devices they have. Thank you, thank you, Ayana. This is truly a wonderful story, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you for coming uh, here today. Thank you for joining us. And so um, we have Ayana Arnobit uh, here at Young Talents Making Way just for FinTech Hawaii TV from sac uh, uh, doing cybersecurity at Sacred Hearts Academy just for us here at FinTech Hawaii. And I will see you next mm -hmm. Tuesday for something uh, for something new, something exciting regarding technology and what happens in the world. Thank you, Ayana. Thank you. Thank you.